do a little bit more. Well, let's go, let's go to the gym and let's just get on the treadmill. And you ain't even got to run if you don't want to. You it's optional. You can run if you want. So I go to the gym and I'm my I'm dragging my ass into the gym. I'm on the treadmill and I'm like, I ain't gonna run. I'm hate this stuff. I, I'm on my phone scrolling, just walking. Then I'm like, oh, I could jog for 30 seconds. And then and then uh, you get the heart rate up, you start breathing. When you're breathing and your heart rate's up, it does a lot for your brain functioning, just in case you don't know. Like I notice my brain functions at a much higher level when I have been breathing a lot. Um, it's great for meditation. It'll it'll breathe out a lot of your stress. Uh, and so anyway, I just want to encourage you guys to do that and to connect whatever you do, whatever your regimen is on health with what you're doing wealth wise. If you're doing both, then you're going to be better off than if you're doing just one or the other. Now, that leads into the other topic that I wanted to actually talk about. Remember, I was telling you the, the holy trinity of quality of quality of a wealthy life tends to be health, wealth, and relationships. We've talked about that, right? I told you all that, that uh, if you want to know if the all-Black National Convention is for you, uh, then then you, you the question I ask you is, do you believe Black people should be healthier mentally and physically? If the answer is yes, put a yes in the chat. If you believe our mental health is important, <laughs> put a yes. If you believe our physical health is important, put a yes. Like we should exercise and stop eating McDonald's and, and Popeye's chicken and all that, all right? Uh, if you believe Black people should have more wealth, more financial security, right? More income, uh, then put a yes in the chat. That's the other dimension, right? And then the last piece is relationships. Do you believe black people should have better relationships with each other? Do you believe husbands and wives should try to get along, that we should love our kids, that our kids should love us, we should respect each other, treat each other well? If the, if the answers are yeses in those categories, then here's two things. Number one, not only are you radically pro-black, in my opinion, it don't you, you know, which there's nothing radical about any of these ideas, but you're radically pro -black, black, in my opinion, because because you want what's best for your people. You want what's best for your family. You want what's best for yourself. But but second of all, um, it allows us to have some common ground. It allows us to have common ground that gets beyond silly stuff like, you know, are you a Democrat or are you a Republican? Are you gay or are you straight? I don't care if you're gay because you're not trying to sleep with me. Why do I care that you're gay? Good luck with you in your gay life and good luck with me in my straight life. <laughs> there's, there's no, <laughs> there, there's no reason for us to be divided over this. Uh, you know, rich, poor, educated, uneducated, male, female. I think all those things can be kind of put to the side. If we agree on those basic things, health, wealth, and relationships. That's what I want for black people. So if anybody ever says that Dr. Boyce Watkins, he's kind of crazy. What, wait, what, what do you think about him? Just say, well, you know, Dr. Boyce just says that he wants black people to have mental and physical health. He wants them to have good relationships with each other, and he wants them to be wealthy and, and economically successful. And then that pretty much defines where I stand, pretty much. Okay. So, so, so here's the point. So we were talking about health and wealth. Well, then there's the relationships. And that's where I want to get to uh this topic on Judge Mathis. Okay. Judge Mathis is um did anybody see what's going on with Judge Mathis? Uh, I got to thinking about this and uh, when I saw this this video clip. I'm going to play it in a second. It's on my Instagram. My Instagram is Dr. Boyce Finance. 